In this video, we're going to explore life at the seashore. This is Hope Beach near South Arm. In the distance, you can see the Iron Pot Lighthouse. Also, watch the motion of the waves. The seashore is a place where the sea meets the land. Let's look at the seashore of Hope Beach from a bird's eye view. This is another seashore. This is Peppermint Bay near the Marine Discovery Centre at Woodbridge. At all types of seashores, the tide slowly goes in and slowly goes out during the day. This is what it looks like when the tide is in. This is what it looks like when the tide goes out. This is the rocky seashore at Blackman's Bay. Pause the video and compare these three seashores. How are they different and how are they the same? Be careful when exploring rocky seashores because a very large wave might suddenly wash over the rocks and knock you over. Don't go too close to the edge and always have your body facing the sea so that you can spot any large waves coming towards you. Let's look at some of the animals that live on the rocky seashore. These brown lumps attached to the rocks are called sea squirts. They are an animal and they stay attached to the rock. They suck in seawater to eat tiny specks of food floating by. Then they squirt out the water. Another animal that stays attached to rock is the mussel. This animal grows a shell around its body. When the tide is in and the mussel is underwater, it opens its shell slightly to eat tiny specks of food floating by. When the tide goes out, they close their shell tightly. Why do you think they do that? Did you notice those red jelly looking things near the mussels? Do you know what they are? They are called sea anemones. This sea anemone is called the waratah anemone. This is what they look like when the tide comes in and they are covered in water. This one is called the southern anemone. Sea anemones attach to rocks and use their tentacles to capture tiny shrimps or fish or bits of food floating by. Barnacles are another animal that attaches to rocks. When the tide goes out, they close their shell tightly. When the tide comes in, they use their hairy limbs to grab specks of food passing by. Pause the video and compare these animals. How are they different and how are they the same? You might have noticed all these animals stay attached to rocks. Let's look at some animals that move around. In some rocky seashores, there are rock pools. A common animal that we find here is the sea star, also called starfish. This one is called the eight-armed sea star. Let's look closely underneath. This is where the mouth of the sea star is. Those long tubes are its feet. They push their stomach out of their mouth onto their food and slowly absorb it over several hours. They have an eye at the end of each arm. This is a sea urchin. They also have a mouth underneath their body, but they have teeth to eat their food. They mostly eat seaweed, but also dead animals. Their legs can stretch out and stick to the rocks. Their spikes are not that sharp. Sea snails are very common on the rocky seashore and in rock pools. They have a shell for protection. They have a door that closes. Their foot sticks to the rocks. If we look underneath, we can see how their foot moves. Always be careful when rolling a rock over. Don't roll over big rocks, you could hurt yourself. Try not to hurt the animals underneath. This is their home. Gently roll the rock back when you have finished looking. It protects them from the sun, as well as birds that might eat them. Sometimes when you roll a rock over, you find crabs. This is the New Zealand porcelain crab. 
Crabs can nip you with their claws, but if you pick them up with your fingers across the sides of their back, they can't nip you. This crab is called the decorator crab. Octopuses eat them. To avoid being eaten, the decorator crab picks up pieces of seaweed and attaches them to the bristles on its back. Now it is well disguised or camouflaged and looks like a rock with seaweed attached. When snails die, their empty shell is left behind. This can be used by hermit crabs as a home. They live in a shell because their tail is soft and would easily be eaten by a fish or an octopus. When a hermit crab finds a better shell, it first checks to make sure it's empty. Watch how it moves into the new shell. Why do you think they move so quickly?